LLMs are the best technology that we have for natural language processing. And this makes them really good at translation, text summarization, and generation. But deploying these models in real-world applications pose challenges, especially if you don't have humongous GPU resources. To run LLMs on smaller GPUs, we can compress them with something known as quantization. While compressing is the wrong word, but it's the closest that we have to describe what quantization actually does. LLMs work by representing words as numbers, and this is what we will refer to as representations. Remember this because it's going to be important later on in this video. Now to ensure accuracy in the output, these representations by the LLMs are actually high precision floating point numbers. But we can let go of a little bit from this accuracy to reduce the size significantly and enable us to run these LLMs on smaller GPUs. We essentially convert high precision floating point numbers into lower precision representations, such as fixed point numbers or integers. And this process essentially is quantization. Now LLMs contain billions of parameters, and that's why you see a number in front of the LLM, like Dolphin 3B, Zephyr 7B, Falcon 40B, Llama 70B, and so on. This basically means LLMs have huge memory requirements. During inference, which is when the LLM is processing the prompt to create an output, LLMs require significant computational resources. This makes it even more difficult to run them on resource-constrained devices, and this is the whole reason quantization is so important. What we're going to be talking about in this video is pre-quantization, which is converting the parameters of an LLM into lower precision representations before deployment. And in a follow-up video, I'll also explain post-quantization and the three common techniques to do that. So the objective of pre-quantization is to reduce the memory footprint and computational complexity of LLMs while maintaining performance levels as much as possible. So we usually follow a four-step process. We identify which parameters of the LLM can be quantized, such as the weights, biases, and activations. Then we have to select the right quantization scheme, such as fixed point, dynamic fixed point, or mixed precision. And this is done based on performance requirements. We will look at all three of these points later in the video. Then we perform the quantization process, which involves scaling, where we determine the scaling factors for each parameter to ensure that the range of values can be represented accurately in the lower precision format. Rounding, where we round off the scaled floating point values to the nearest representable fixed point values based on the selected quantization scheme. Clipping, where we clip the quantized values to ensure they fall within a specified range. Finally, storage, where we store the quantized parameters in the model format required for deployment, such as a compressed model file or a quantized model format supported by inference engines. The final step is validation and fine-tuning. So you validate the quantized model to ensure it meets performance and accuracy requirements so that we can fine-tune the quantization parameters as necessary. While this sounds like a perfect solution, there can be issues because lower precision representations may lead to accuracy degradation, requiring careful consideration of the trade-off between performance and precision. Then there's something new called quantization-aware training, which helps train LLMs, keeping in mind that quantization may happen in the future, and thereby optimizing performance and precision. Now I want to go a bit deeper into point number two, which is quantization scheme selection. Let's talk about the three subpoints for quantization scheme selection. The first one is fixed point quantization. So instead of floating points, we can go for something more predictable, like fixed point quantization, where we represent the parameters using fixed point numbers with a pre-specified number of integers and fractional bits. For example, an 8-bit fixed point number would use 4 bits for the integer part and 4 bits for the fractional part. And this is good because now it's fixed and not floating anymore, and hence predictable. Dynamic fixed point quantization. This is like a mix of floating point and fixed point, and it's to be used when you don't want to sacrifice accuracy too much. 
It's actually very similar to fixed point quantization, but the main difference here is that the range and precision of the fixed point numbers are adjusted dynamically based on the distribution of the data during training or inference. The last one is mixed precision quantization, and this one, in my opinion, makes the most amount of sense. So in this scheme, we can take a decision based on the parameters. So different parameters are quantized to different precisions based on their importance or sensitivity to quantization error. For example, less critical parameters might be quantized to lower precision to save memory and computational resources. Let's look at a quick example. We have an LLM here that can represent values using the usual float 32 bits, meaning this range. But we can quantize this to 16-bit where the range reduces and the size and memory requirement reduces, but also the accuracy reduces a bit. Now we can follow separate quantization standards for pre-quantization and during inference, and this leads to even higher accuracy. In this example that you see, we're using 4-bit quantization and then a 16-bit quantization during inference. So I hope you learned a little bit about quantization in this video. So this was pre-quantization and I'll create a follow-up video about post-quantization. Now this video will become a part of my LLM concepts playlist on my channel. Make sure you check out the other videos on this playlist. I also have a playlist called the LLM and AI projects playlist where we learn by building AI projects. So check them out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.